Barnegat Inlet is a natural opening that connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Barnegat Bay Watershed Region in Ocean County, New Jersey. Separating Island Beach State Park from Long Beach Island, it has a reputation as a dangerous waterway. In 1609, while sailing his ship the Half Moon along the coast and noting waves crashing on shoals, Henry Hudson named it Barnegat, Dutch for inlet with breakers. In the 1800s, due to extensive shoaling and numerous shipwrecks, the federal government constructed Barnegat Lighthouse, 163-foot-high Old Barney, sitting on northern Long Beach Island, was active through World War II. The continuing threat of storms on shoreline stability led to the Army Corps of Engineers constructing a North Jetty in the 1930s and a South Jetty in the 1990s. Over the past several decades, the inlet has been somewhat tamed by the jetties, along with frequent dredging. While the inlet is now used by one of the largest commercial fishing fleets on the East Coast, severe shoals still cause some boats every year to get damaged on a jetty or sink from hitting a sandbar. Recreational mariners are advised to use caution. Opposing currents create danger, like a southeast wind and an outgoing tide, and crossing should only be attempted in ideal conditions. Access to the Barnegat Inlet as a passage to the Atlantic comes from leaving the New Jersey Intracoastal Waterway and traversing the west side of Barnegat Bay. Beware of shallow waters in the central and eastern bay. Oyster Creek Channel from the north and Double Creek Channel from the south enable crossing from the western bay to access the actual inlet. Of these, Oyster Creek is deeper, wider, and more navigable. The starting point is marked by the Barnegat Inlet, or BI Day Marker, near Red Buoy 42. Cross on either side. Lat longs for the start are 39 degrees 47.8 minutes north and 74 degrees 9.9 minutes west. Line up the channel's green and red buoys, starting with 39 and 40. Noting the channel buoys, frequently shifted due to shoaling, are not charted. Provide fishing boats with sufficient berth not to run over fishing lines. Favor the south side of Oyster Creek for greater depth and watch behind you for overtaking boats. The channel deepens as you get closer to the ocean. There's no channel junction marker at the intersection with Double Creek, just another set of red and green buoys. Shortly after the junction, Barnegat Lighthouse becomes visible just behind a popular spot for anchoring, and then the inlet proper comes into view. Note submerged portions of the North Jetty, leading to a red marker locals call the Monument. Adjust your throttle to handle the ocean rollers and continue through buoys three and four. As you approach one and two, waves should subside. The ending point is 39 degrees, 44.9 minutes north and 74 degrees, 5.5 minutes west. Beware of sandbars and shallow areas up to a mile off the jetties. When you complete your ocean run, return to buoys one and two. Adjust your throttle for a following sea, keeping your bow high, slowing down to surf the backside of a wave, or let rollers pass under your hull to avoid plowing. Keep an eye for the Red Monument at the start of the dangerously submerged section of the North Jetty. Watch again for fishing boats on your return. Note Green Buoy 9 to your port side as you approach Old Barney with Island Beach State Park off to starboard. Avoid a giant sandbar by taking two dog legs, first to port, then to starboard. Observe red and green atons as you enter and cross Oyster Creek Channel. Take care not to be confused by Double Creek Channel markers at the unmarked junction. Bear starboard to stay in your proper channel. You'll likely pass several boats as you continue heading back up Oyster Creek. Stay in the channel and avoid sandbars. The north side is not as deep as the south. Buoys are spaced closer together as you enter shallower water in Barnegat Bay, up to 39, 40, and 42. Once you pass the Barnegat Inlet fixed marker, turn into the intercoastal waterway to return to your point of embarkation, north towards Tom's River or south towards Little Egg Harbor. With proper planning, and especially selecting a time to run under ideal conditions, Barnegat Inlet can be mastered for a smooth crossing.